my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Cover. I want to see us. Hey, are you out of school today? No. You're not? You guys don't have school today? You're out of school. You are <laughs> You are out of school today, aren't you? Huh? Well, that must be a special thing. Hey, Adam, tell us what we're doing here today. Obviously, we're going to be doing some goose hunting, and we're setting up in a pretty big field here, huh? Yeah, yesterday, actually, the, the geese that I uh, scouted out were on the other side of the road, but uh, it's all dirt, so it's a pretty tough field to hide in. So we're there was some sitting in the field that we're gonna hunt. They were in here yesterday morning. Um, due to the wind and the, the conditions we have and trying to hide, we're gonna do something a little bit different and try to get them to come over our head and into the decoys. But uh, I guess we'll just wait and see how everything pans out this morning. Okay, and actually yesterday you were telling me the field that we drove in this morning and took a look at that we were gonna hunt, it was actually covered in snow. Yeah, yeah, yesterday morning that field was all snow, so I didn't realize how much dirt was actually out there. Yep. Uh, they got it worked up pretty well. Uh, we pulled up to it this morning and it was nothing but nothing but mud out there and it's actually a field that you'd have to carry everything out. It's a uh, private land for public use so it's only foot traffic and uh, it looked like a lot more work just to get burned by birds picking us out of the dirt. And that is the, the key thing. I mean I don't uh, get to hunt geese a lot and ducks anymore but the key thing you would say is that you definitely got to have some kind of good cover because again them birds they'll spot you and they're just going to jump to another field. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, they were all over in this area yesterday. They were in every all, every field around for the most part. There's about three, four fields that had them in it, so I don't think they're uh, opposed to just flying right by you and landing somewhere else. Going and to the breakfast. next food source, yep. huh? Okay, awesome. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens this morning here. Hopefully, we're going to shoot a few geese, huh, Lane? Yep. All right, let's do it. I wish duck hunting was still open. Nice shooting, nice shooting. Very nice, that was awesome. That was fun, I'll tell you that. That's why you get up early in the morning and get out here. And it's awesome laying in these layout binds because I'll tell you, it's nice and warm too. But that was awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, we had fun this morning out here. Adam, I'll tell you, and Lane, I appreciate that. It's a good thing that you're a good shot better than I am. And Lane's got to go back to school. It's a great day to be alive. How do you feel about that, Lane? Good. See, he's the only kid I know, only boy I know that loves to go to school, which is a good thing, because he'll be a step ahead of all the other boys, I'll tell you that. You got that right. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, 
and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. The Warrior Story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish-attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings Over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Unbelievable, Lance. We're on the ice uh -huh. and you know what? It's right before Christmas. And I'll tell you what, Merry Christmas to all our fans out there. And we appreciate everybody watching our show. Hey, today we're gonna to be fishing here up on the Winnebago system. You know, we're gonna be doing some jigging for walleyes. If we have some time, we're gonna probably end up doing a little bit of perch fishing. But we finally are out here. We're about three weeks ahead of schedule from last year. Even though last year we lost a lot of time on the ice. We probably lost about a month of uh, ice fishing that we would typically have on a normal year. This year, we're, right now, we're running anywhere from about three to five inches of ice out here where we're at, and I'll tell you, it's looking pretty good. Hopefully, we don't get too much more snow. So, or a Lance, warm spell. Or a warm spell, <laughs> for sure. You know what, and the other exciting part, Lance, is that our good friends over at Hard and Soft Fishing got some great new baits. They've got the Hyperglide, which comes in 10 different colors, three different sizes. It's definitely a bait we're gonna be using today in a bait that people need to check out. And they have also a new rattling Castmaster. Wow, and that's one of my favorite baits for sure. Finally, we've got some ice and we're gonna be having a chance to utilize some of these things yep. that we've been, we've been talking about for the last six months. So, hey, you know what, Lance? We're, you and I are both still guiding. You're doing a little bit more guiding than I am because we're running around the country filming. Tell everybody at home what they need to bring when they're looking at doing a trip with you or me. Uh, fishing the Winnebago system, Pete and Will Floyd system. Uh, we supply the food, uh, warm shelters, all the bait, tackle. We take care of everything. All you need is your fishing license, and whatever you want to drink. And all of our trips are full day trips too. Hey, right. I, I kind of watched you when you said something to eat. I'm like, hey, what are you doing with all that food that when I'm out here we're that I'm cooking? There, right, <laughs> right, right. You, so that's what we got going. I'll tell you what, it, we look like, I think we're, we're in for a pretty good year. We were out the last couple days fishing and walleye fishing was halfway decent. Yep. Most of the fish seem to be running about 14 to 16 inches. We did have a couple uh, bigger ones the other day what we let go. You know, and that's a big thing. When we're fishing this system, anything that's over 18 inches, we like to let go, release. Because there's plenty of eating quality fish, again, from that 14, you know, to 18 inch size, you know. Right, and there is no size limit on this system, but it's still our own personal size limit that we like to go with. So, hey, I'll tell you what, Lance, I'm gonna go drill some holes. Let's start fishing. Sounds like a plan. Stay tuned, let's see what happens today out here on the Winnebago system, fishing for walleyes.
Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors Ice Fishing, a full service guiding ice fishing adventure. We supply all the equipment and provide a hot meal out on the ice. You just need to arrive with a Wisconsin fishing license and get ready to catch fish and have a great experience. We guide seven days a week, are fully insured, use the latest tested tough gear, and will work harder than anyone to put you on fish. To book a trip, please call 920-361-4996. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years. And that's Vexilog, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Hey, nice glasses. You like my glasses? You know, that's a sign of old age, you know? And it is, you know what? Don't be harassing me today because today is Christmas and you should be happy. And like I always say, Merry Christmas. You know, and speaking of Christmas, I'll tell you what, Daniel. Our good friends over at Hard and Soft Fishing, our Beaver Dam people in Acme, sent me a whole bunch of these hyperglides, and that's what we're going to be using today, and the new Rattlemasters. And I cannot tie this unless I have glasses on, because you know what's going to happen? If I tie it without the glasses, I'm going to lose it. So and I'm even having a hard time tying it with the glasses. So what's that say for yourself? Uh, don't worry, I won't harass you. I respect my elders. Yeah, right, whatever. You're not that much younger than I am. See? Now what happens with this rattle, or with the hyperglide, I was thinking about the rattle master, is actually you set that down there and you'll be able to, we'll show you later on, but actually the wings actually open and close on this. It's a it's a very unique bait. We're fishing in about eight, nine feet of water today. And basically what we're gonna be doing is kind of working that water column. Most of these fish seem to be tight off the bottom. We've had such a cold spell here that the fish are a little lethargic. It seems like, you know, typically this walleye bite is early and late, but our best bites actually been around 11 o'clock to about two o'clock. So we'll see what happens today. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that. I'll tell you, that fish came right in and just smacked that thing. He got, I had a minnow head on there. Now you gotta remember, this is my first fish on the rad on the hyperglide. I got I got it all tangled up. What did I do here? <laughs> my first fish of the year, ice fishing on the hyperglide. And I'll tell you what, nice little walleye. You know, this one thing about the Winnebago system is that we've got a good number of walleyes that range, like this is probably close to 15. Then this is what we always call typically a good eater. Now the interesting part about this bait here is we're in about eight feet of water, maybe nine right now. And the interesting part about this bait is I'm just working it off the bottom. And you gotta remember now with this hyperglide, one down, one down for me, Lancey. With the hyperglide, what I do, it's got a, in the back, it's got a little plastic clip here. And what you do is, when you don't have your glasses on, just feel for it. So when you're dropping the bait down, you're in deeper water like this, 
you know, what you want to do is you want to take the bait and there's a little plastic clip in the back and it takes the bait so you're dropping it down vertical. So then all you got to do is once you drop it down there, you just give it a little bit of a pop and then it'll go back to horizontal. I'm going to go get another minnow head and put that back on it. But I'll tell you, interesting bait though, again, we'll show you, show you how this works is that when you see them wings open and close on that bait, it actually drives some fish crazy. And another really nice thing is if you really want to pump it hard, it's amazing how much water it can cover around you. You don't want to have two guys, when you're pumping it real hard, you don't want to have two guys really close in the shanty together because it does glide so far. We notice in about 18 feet of water, when you're pumping it real hard, it, it, it actually glides out almost about six feet. That's how far of a glide. In about eight feet of water, like you're fishing now eight, nine feet, it's gliding out about three to four foot, So which is covering a lot of that water. You know, a lot of times out here on this Winnebago system, we don't usually use a lot of bait, but uh, the fish are a little bit sluggish today, and I think a lot of it's got to do with that cold weather we've had. So what typically what I do when I'm going to put a minnow head on any type of bait like that is that I'll watch and see which, on the treble hook, which hook actually, which barb actually hangs back to the back. So what I'll do is, uh, right now I can see this one hangs back right there, so I'll grab that, and I typically open the mouth of the minnow, go way back and go through the skull and then I'll just pinch off about that much, just enough to give it some scent. There we go. Okay, pull the knot back to the back and there we go, drop her back down. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, I gotta get my axle out of the hole here. There we go. Whoa. Not quite as uh, as nice as the other one, but still, you know, like I said earlier, still a decent fish. Now, you could tell now this is the difference between the last fish and this fish. This fish right here, as you can see, let me get him unhooked here. Oh, hey, well, he had him hooked good. Um, you can tell the difference because this fish definitely went for the minnow head on there. So you can tell right away because he was hooked right there. You know, again, that that hyperglide is a very interesting bait and it's a new bait, you know, so that's something that these fish have never seen before. And like I said, it's got a very unique action to it. And uh, another, you know, that's probably 14 inch walleye there. But again, on the Winnebago system, there's no size limit. We typically, what we'll do here is we'll keep them from 14 to 18. And then anything after that, we like to let go because them are the main spawners for sure. Unless it's, you know, a big fish that somebody wants to get mounted or a, some a special fish. You know, some people don't get a chance to come out all the time and fish. But uh, typically, we like to let the 18, uh, the fish that are 18 and over, let go. All right. Two down. Got one here, Larry. You got one, Lance? Got one on. Oop, let me get this out of the hole for you. Oh, no. Oh, don't lose them. You know, oh, they're nice fish. Wow, hold that one up to the camera. No, Lance, that's the new rattling cast master. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, would you have on there a minnow head? Yeah, You're a little minnow, a minnow, on minnow head on there. This is what we've been waiting for, Larry. It has. You know, <laughs> last year was totally a different year. We, it was one of the worst years as far as time for ice fishing. We lost, like I was saying, probably at like three weeks to a month of ice fishing that we couldn't guide on. This year, we're out here before Christmas, right? This Tomorrow's yeah. Christmas, so you know what? This is absolutely awesome. We got pretty good ice. We're gonna be guiding full-time, Lance and I, and we got a couple other guys that are working for us. And basically, you know, we're covering the whole Winnebago system, right? Exactly, yeah. Which is Poygan, Butylmore, the whole river system, and Winnebago, and we're gonna be guiding, of course, up on Pete and Well and Castle Rock, you know? And you know, the nice part about our guiding, Lance, tell everybody, we pretty much provide everything. That we do. All you gotta bring is a fishing license there, Larry, and whatever you wanna drink. We supply everything else, shelters, lunch, nice hot meal. Oh yeah, I love the hot meals too, you know what? And uh, so, you know what, we're on the ice, we're, we're fishing, guiding game on now. So, you know what, people are looking to do a trip, they need to give us a call. Either call me or call you. Exactly, sounds, sounds great. Sounds good, all right, let's catch some more fish. Mark it a couple right here. Here we go, oh, here we go. I knew that fish was gonna bite, I'll tell you that. You know something, I switched from the hyperglide to, oh, they're nice fish. 
I fished it from, I switched from the Hyperglide back over to the Rattle Master, the Rattle and Cast Master. Lance had just caught his off of that. And I'll tell you what, you know what? I got a feeling that the Winnebago system is going to be pretty good this winter. I really do. I mean, we've got some really good fish. I'm really surprised the size of the fish. The forage levels are high, so it's going to be a little tricky as far as trying to catch these fish. But, you know, when you start looking at new baits again, like the Rattle Master, this rattle chamber that's built into this Cast Master here, and look at the finish on that. The Cast Master has always been one of my favorite baits. And I'll tell you something, boy. I'm very excited to be back on the ice, and especially this early in the year. Nice job. Hey Lance, I'll tell you what, we're on the ice in obviously about three weeks early, like yep. we were talking about earlier in the show. We had a fun day today. We didn't kill the fish by any means. We caught six or seven walleyes. I think I did outfish you today. Hey, by a couple. But by a you couple. know what? We're going to be guiding since we start the day after Christmas, like yep. on a normal year. And you know what? This year, the cool part about anybody that does a guide trip with us, guess what? They get a free Badger Sportsman magazine from our good friends over at the Badger Sportsman magazine. A lot of great articles. And guess what? Again, this year, if you're guiding with Lance and I, you get a free magazine. I'll tell you that. Awesome. Hey, and what else do we have to say to the people out there? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. You know what? And have a happy new year. And I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of exciting shows coming up this year and I'm looking forward to it. And we're gonna be traveling all across the Midwest. And remember, we're doing 52 new shows. Hey, and like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Steve Schaefer, the Shotgun Chef. We are in the kitchen, it's Christmas. I have neighbors coming over to make some eggnog drinks with me. Right now I'm making button mushrooms, like cut out the inside, put a little Parmesan cheese on it. This is my Italian venison sauce. You saw Larry and I the one time grinding the meat up, cutting the meat up. Put it right inside here. It's about 12 to 15 minutes, it should be done. It's at 400, you see I got the rack set way up high. Once again, watch, open it up, make sure the meat's turning gray and bubbling on the mushroom, getting the moisture out of it. Let's hope for the neighbor shows up real soon so we can start making eggnog. Special guests, my neighbors, Angie and Rachel, they have a, what is this, your mom's favorite or special recipe? Yep, mom's fam famous eggnog. And now you're gonna give it up to thousands of viewers? Yes, so I got her permission though. You got her permission? <laughs> All right, let's do what we're doing. What do we got, eggnog and vodka and yep. eggs? and? Yep, so we have a dozen eggs, yolks, that okay. we've already separated. Okay, good. We throw that in the blender. Rachel's got that. Mm-hmm. And what's next? Then we're just gonna blend the eggs for a few minutes. I got that. So now we're going to add five ounces of evaporated milk. All right. 
Now what, blend it up again or no nope, more? No, we're gonna add eight ounces of regular granulated sugar. So then we have this vanilla sugar. Where do you get that at? Regular store? We actually just buy it on Amazon. Otherwise, we found it in a German stores or a Greek stores. You will carry it. What's this Amazon place? Is it popular or what? <laughs> yeah. We're going to add about a cup of vodka, and then we're going to sample it and see if we have to add more. Thanks, ladies, for coming over and making eggnog. Thanks, we have the mushrooms. I mean, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's taste this. Oh, that is dang good. You sure there's... Mm -hmm. I, I can't taste the egg. This is really good. It's very good. good All job, right, let's... I'm gonna, good job. I'm going to test one of these mushrooms. They're smoking hot. I shouldn't do it, but look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's very good. We're in the kitchen of Shotgun Stuff sh Shaver. Who? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey Lance, I don't want you to think that I'm cheap and didn't wrap your present, but this is a new way of wrapping presents okay. here. I start. I started a new trend here. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, my friend. Well, thank and, you, Larry. Yep. I got you a couple little things. Check this out, Lance. Lance, there you go, buddy. Oh, Merry Christmas. Special for the morning. Yeah, hold that up. Yep. Thank you, Larry. And Lance, I got you a new war. I've touched the stuff in my hands, but I got charcoal all over for summer. <laughs> I got you it a new. It smells like fish, right? A, yep, a new warrior, warrior shirt. shirt. Sweet. Look at that. You'll be styling. And Lance, guess what else I got you? I can only imagine. You're Larry. not going to believe this. We had some people call us and they wanted us to try a new product, and I've been using it for about a week and a half. It's a great product. Your feet are always cold. Yep. Some new socks. It's called Smart Wool. Something else you want to check out. Great socks. All right. All right. Hey, and Danny, you're holding the camera, but guess what? I got you also, and again, I got you a pair of Smart Wool socks, and guess what else I got you? Merry right. Christmas, buddy. I got you a new tip stick from Beaver Dam. Awesome! There you go. <laughs> hey, everybody, Merry Christmas to you, and I hope that you guys all enjoy the holidays. Merry all right, Christmas. buddy. Thanks, there you Larry. go, buddy. Appreciate her. I'm feeling bad. I didn't get you anything. Shut up and take. hands. I'm, that's one thing I'm so sick about, these hand warmers. Yeah, they keep your hands warm, but yeah, you don't want to touch anything after that. you got to buy Look the quality it. ones. What, what do you mean buy the quality ones? They're free. And when they're free, <laughs> I'm using Free's them. not always good. Look at, look at that. <laughs> right, you're looking like a coal miner. <laughs>